More exercises from section 2.6. This will go swiftly because we have done one-sided limits before. But here we're just adding more for horizontal and um, vertical asymptotes. So what is the limit as x approaches 4? We let x approach 4 from the right or from the left. The y values approach 2. Okay, what is the limit as of the function as x approaches 2 from the right? The y values approach negative 3. And the limit of the function as x approaches 2 coming from the left, the y values approach 1. And so we conclude from b and c that the limit of f as x approaches 2 does not exist. Uh, let's keep going. What about, uh, let's look at when x is equal to negative 3. What is the limit of the function as x approaches 3 from the right? So I'm coming from the right here. You see that the y values blow up to plus infinity. Now what about if I'm approaching, x is coming from the left. Going from the left and the y values again they approach plus infinity. And so we conclude that the limit of the function as x approaches negative 3 is positive infinity. Let's see some more. What about at 0? We see that there is a vertical asymptote at x equal to 0. So what is the limit as x approaches 0 coming from the right? the y values approach positive infinity. And then as x approaches 0 coming from the left, see how the y values are now going to negative infinity. And so what do we conclude is the limit of the function as x approaches 0 it does not exist. Okay. Now, um, we concentrate now on the limits at infinity. In other words, what is the end behavior of the graph of this function f? Well, as x gets larger, so if we keep going to the right, these y values will taper off and try to approach the horizontal axis, which means the limit of f as x approaches infinity is zero. And then it behaves differently when your, y, when your x's are now approaching negative infinity. So we see that as x approaches negative infinity, see how the y values taper off here at the horizontal line, y equal to negative 1. So we can see from the graph that we've got horizontal asymptotes and vertical asymptotes. For horizontal asymptotes, there are two. We see that it's y equal to 0 and y equal to negative 1. And then for the vertical asymptote, it occurs when x is equal to negative 3 and it's also when x is equal to 0. Here in the following problems, all we have to do is really determine the degree of the numerator and the denominator. So in number 13, we see that um, whether x approaches positive infinity or negative infinity, the limit here will be 2 fifths. Because the numerator and the denominator have the same um, degree. Similarly, in number 14, whether x goes to positive infinity or negative infinity, since the, de the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then we have here that the limit is 2 over 1 or 2 because it's always the ratio if the degree are equal it's the ratio of the coefficients of the leading terms of the numerator and the denominator okay and then when we have uh, cases like number 16 or number 15 both of these the limit is equal to 0 because the numerator 
it's do dominated by the denominator because the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator. And you know how to do, you can work on number 17 and 18.